Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. So today's video is all about refrigerator organization. I'm going to share tips, tricks, and ideas all of you can use in your everyday life. I show you the before, the after. I take you with me shopping for the organizational products I use in this video. So we're gonna have a really good time today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Also consider subscribing if you're new to join our fam. I would love to have you. I will have a lot of recent videos down below in the description box. I'm gonna put the thumbnails right here for you. So check those out after this video if you haven't seen them. And let's get started. So let's see what this is looking like. I'm just gonna run through the entire thing and show you guys the mess that is our refrigerator at the moment. Um, the shelves are just packed full with complete random stuff. It needs to be separated and organized. I really want to have like a shelf for the drinks, for coffee creamers, for coffee, a shelf for snacks, you know how it is. Separate it so that it actually makes sense. It doesn't look anything like that. So we have a lot of coffee and iced coffee, soy milk, almond milk, apple juice, a lot of drinks for sure. And then right here is where we keep a lot of the fresh vegetables. So there are some zucchini in there, I believe, romaine. I don't know what's back there, but we're gonna figure it out together. Um, and over here is typically where we put the raw meats. We do a lot of things on the grill this time of year. So a lot of the times things are sitting in here while they marinate. But right now it's just um, something from Costco and down here this drawer gets a lot of use but as you can see it has not been cared for that well especially lately so there are so many meats in here and over here there are lots of cheeses um, lots of containers everything is just everywhere I really want to look for shorter containers I can use to separate everything in here because it's just one big open space as you can see and I think it'd be really helpful to separate this out a little bit um, so I'm gonna look for a lot of organizational items with you guys that are just going to make this so much more functional. And over here in the door, it's not looking any better. <laughs> I just need to redo how everything is separated. We used to have the condiments on one and the salad dressings on another. Right now they kind of are all mixed together. I know a lot of the things up here have to go. And then a few more random things. Salsa, I forgot was in there. That sounds really good right now actually. <laughs> and just a few more things that we need to figure out what should go where and what is going to work best. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in. And as you can see, I ended up at Home Goods for today's video. They have a ton of really great things for organization, for your refrigerator, of course, but for your closet, and almost anywhere in your home. What I really like about this store is all of their organizational products are very affordable. So many of them are just a few dollars. And I show you guys everything that I picked up today in just a second. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know. I'm back from Home Goods. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got before we pull everything out of the fridge, wipe it down, reorganize, and go through that. Um, and I am going to link a lot of similar finds on Amazon for you. I know a lot of you guys shop on Amazon, and I'm sure I could find almost like the exact same stuff that I got. So yeah, that will be in the description box. But the first thing that I got are two of these bins. I got everything see-through. Um, instead of like fun colors just because I want to see exactly what's in there instead of what it looks like right now Which you guys saw and I really like that on the labels of all of these they have different ideas of how to use them So and then I did get just I believe this is one There's like so many layers in this plastic It almost seems like more but I just got a really small one and there's a ton of ways I could use this But I was thinking for like fruit that I cut up and have ready to go um, in small containers like snacks and stuff I could put in that guy and then two of these really large ones for the shelves in there so that way there isn't anything that's lost in the back I can just pull this out and everything that's on the shelf is inside of here so nothing hopefully is going to be forgotten and expire because that's the worst and then for some drinks you guys know we drink a lot of sparkling water and we have a fridge downstairs that is just full of drinks, like tons of different kinds of drinks. But I do like to keep some upstairs, just so I don't have to run downstairs all the time. 
There are two of these guys right here just for like sodas and waters or if you are a yogurt person and you buy like a bunch of individual cups of yogurt, things like that are great for these kinds of bins. And then I also picked up one of these guys for eggs. I don't think this is like the most practical thing ever just because you don't have the expiration date on it, but I feel like we run through eggs extremely fast and I could always just write it on there with an expo marker. Three of these, and these have a rubber mat on the bottom, which is awesome. I love stuff like that. I think I'm going to keep these in the snack drawer since I don't have those separators in there right now. They do fit. I just checked. I was a little nervous about that. But those are all the organizational items that I got. Now let's get into pulling everything out. Now that that's done, I'm working on these organizational products and removing all of the stickers. And I don't think there was a whole lot on these, but I really encourage you guys, when you shop for stuff like this, make sure there's not a ton of stickers on each product because it's going to take you forever when you remove all of those stickers if there are a lot of them. And you might have to use a product like I am to get off the rest of the residue, but it really wasn't that bad. And now after that, I'm going to rinse all of these with hot water and soap, and that is it. I'm just rinsing them off scrubbing if they need it where the stickers were so that way they are fresh and good to go things like this have a lot of hands on them from people working at the store to all of the other customers so I really encourage you to wash them before you put them in the fridge I wanted to give you guys an update everything is out of the fridge I'm about to start wiping everything down pulling out the drawers wiping these out that looks kind of gross <laughs> all that stuff in the bottom some crumbs on the trays all of that is going to be taken care of and here is a view of the island with everything on here literally a little bit of everything so i'm going to wipe out the fridge and then i'm going to run through this and see if anything is expired and needs to go for any of you guys that are familiar with the cleaning and organizing videos I do, you probably know that I do like to go over things several times. That just is what feels the best to me. That way I know it's really clean. And for the refrigerator today, I'm just going to use a dish soap, hot water, and a microfiber towel. That is it. That's the only product that I'm using. It kind of weirds me out having like harsh products in the fridge. It just seems like I shouldn't be having products like that when it comes to food. So if you guys have any specific products that you use for the refrigerator for this purpose, let me know and I'll be sure to try those out the next time I film a video like this. But yeah, this is just the way that I've always done it. Plus we've only had this refrigerator for a couple months now, so it is fairly clean. However, there are a lot of crumbs and it just was time for a little TLC.
I did end up pulling out all of the drawers and all of these shelf inserts on the doors and washing those in the sink but everything else I just wiped down with a hot soapy water and I feel like these refrigerators now are so hard to take apart there's so many pieces and it gets really confusing so just be careful if you guys are pulling things apart that you know how to put it back together I know that's so obvious but it can be really really confusing I know that from experience When you wash everything by hand, I definitely recommend splitting it up into stages. That way the first items have some time to air dry. So I did start with all of the organizational products I purchased today and then I waited a little bit longer and then I did all of the refrigerator parts and inserts and then I'm going to give everything a final wipe down and this does take a while but it's worth it. And just starting in the beginning and doing it in stages, it's going to give a lot of things the chance to dry naturally so it won't take as long to wipe everything down. I'm sick. the most satisfying parts of the video at least for me and that is just putting in all these organizers and seeing how they work what layout I want to do I'm just gonna like shuffle around until I'm happy with them I've wanted these things for so long you guys so let's do that and see how it goes When investing in organizational products for your refrigerator, find things that can be used on several different shelves. And if you guys are anything like us, there are very few things we buy on a regular basis at the grocery store. I feel like we're always trying several different things, so I know that the layout of the refrigerator is going to change, but if I can at least put those products containers on several different shelves, it's always going to stay organized. For love or pity, let me know not now, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? How good do those organizational items look in this drawer? I can't believe that they fit as perfectly as they did. If you are enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and also hit that bell. I don't upload at the same time. I like to mix it up, so that will just alert you guys whenever there's a new video. Why is watching things like this so satisfying, you guys? I am so happy that I did this.
One thing I did want to share with you guys is a little bit of food prep because if your produce especially, if it looks good, if it's ready to go and to be used immediately, then you are way more likely to actually get through all of it and you're going to be inspired to try a few new ways to use it since it's already ready for you. So one thing I try and do, obviously it doesn't always happen with what you guys saw in the beginning of the video, but I try and prep out all of these salads especially and wash all the fruits and vegetables as soon as I get home from the grocery store and that is just a way that really helps us to get through everything it's so easy if you're really tired and you just want a snack and if you're in a rush especially when it's ready to go and you don't have to wash it and slice it up and all of that so I'm just going to rinse all of the kale and I'm putting it in these quart containers because I think these are the perfect size for two so regardless of what we're having for dinner I can just throw a quart container of this washed salad mix into a bowl put a few things in there and mix it up and it's ready to go it seriously probably takes me like three minutes to make a salad for dinner at night as a side so it's just something that helps us to get through it i feel like it makes our meals a lot healthier too I'm doing the same exact thing with romaine except I like to leave the leaves whole on this one and I do that because I can throw these on sandwiches and wraps throughout the week but if I decided to have a salad I can just tear it up with my hands and it only takes a second. You like me? Don't you wanna see what this could be? I am ready for that heartbreak, that's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. I cannot believe that this is real life right now. It looks so good. I'm gonna run through it all and just share like what I did, why I did it that way. I'm going to start in the middle section, just work my way down. I had a huge pickle jar. That is in the fridge downstairs. I don't think I need three things of pickles up here. So that is there. And that is a big thing of butter that Chad uses for cooking. And in the middle is where the leftovers are going to go. That is something that we forget about. So I'm trying to fix that. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to I feel like they always just get shoved in the back um, so right here is just a big thing from Costco it's like stuffed peppers we've never had those but I've heard they're really good and we're gonna have that tonight so that's right there I know it's really bright sorry but back there are hard-boiled eggs for Chad um, and just some like sauce things that are in some Tupperwares I don't know what they are but I know he will use them over here are all of these small Things that I got from Costco is watermelon juice and then right here is raviolis I need to use up. I'm gonna just pull this out because I know it's very bright and hard to see but that's what that looks like. Now for the next shelf. So the coffee creamers are all um, sitting up here on the wine rack. We obviously are not drinking wine right now or at least I'm not, I'm pregnant. <laughs> so that stuff is up there. We have so many drinks in this fridge. The iced coffee's in the back and then I have the milk in the front and that's just because we always pull this out with one of those and do half and half. A couple sparkling waters right here, an apple juice in the back, an orange juice in the front. And then over here is where sour cream and sauces are going to go. So this guy right here is a leftover pizza sauce. There's a queso in the middle and then sour cream in the back. And I just think that shelf is perfect for things like that. And then some more leftovers in the middle. Again, I just want those leftovers front and center so we eat them. So this is just a big thing of white rice and right here is some chicken breast that we made on the grill last night. Over here are the drink containers. These things make me so happy and as you can see they're just filled all the way to the back. So what's great about these is they just slide in and out. Everything stays organized. Down here are the larger ones that I showed you. So it's just a bunch of snack things in here, bunch of guacamole and salsas. And then right here is the tortillas. That's all that's in there, but it's just something that is such an awkward thing to store, especially since they're just flat and long. So I folded them in half and put them right here. And these drawers are my favorite. Wait until you see the other one. I just have all of the potatoes sitting in the bag that it came in. I think that's perfectly fine. Some cauliflower that's left over. And then in the smaller one that I showed you guys, the organizer, it's just red beets that we need to get rid of, but this one is my favorite drawer. 
Okay, so in here we have some kiwis. Um, in the back are the zucchinis, and all of these are the salad mixes that you guys saw me prep out. And I like to use quart containers because they are very, very affordable. I'm gonna link some for you guys below if you just wanna buy them online, but we love those. We use them all the time for leftovers, and I think it's gonna be really great to have those for salads. I love just how those ones look from the outside. And then in this big drawer, so I separated everything in these three containers, which actually fit in this drawer extremely well. That makes me so happy, just filled it up. So I have string cheeses right here, and then white cheddar that's been cut up already for snacks. Um, and then right here, it's just huge things of cheese that have to be sliced up when we want to use them. And then over here are the pre-shredded ones. So there's just a cheddar. Um, a white cheddar back there and parmesan and lastly are the doors so up here is hot sauces and horseradish horseradish that's so hard to say like spicy things um, down here is the ketchup and the mustard and then I'm just going to put sauces right here um, and then down here are salad dressings a lot of those and on this side I feel like this one is sort of random but it's just all of the extra stuff actually I feel like the barbecue sauce should go over here since I said sauces um, but yeah it is a random thing as you can see there's pesto there's apple cider vinegar and then hot fudge and right here is a lot of olives and banana peppers and a lemon juice and lastly is just a probiotic which is so great for your stomach if I ever have stomach problems I just take one of those and I'm good to go and that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for spending the time with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I have a lot of things linked below for you that I think you will enjoy, so don't miss out on that. And I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.